I just spent the last 15 minutes trying to make this not crooked and I feel like it's still crooked. So I'm over it. Let's move forward. Let's go on. So keep me in your side. Cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it's Nicole and Stormy. Welcome to our channel. So today's video is for the newest collection from Orly. This is their summer 2023 collection called Great Escape. So we have six polishes in total. We have two different finishes in this release. Not a lot of thoughts once again. Uh, so before we get into today's video, a couple of things to mention. The first being, if you are new around here, hi, my name is Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Saturdays featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. If you're in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just how how is everyone's week? Like what's going on for the weekend? As I was saying, today's video is for the Orly Great Escape collection for summer 2023. This collection was sent to me in PR from Orly, but this video is not sponsored. As per usual, all thoughts and opinions are my own and those might be some unpopular thoughts. Okay, I keep, I keep, I'm sorry, I keep trying to spoil the collection. <laughs> I keep trying to spoil it. So as per usual, down in the description box, I will have links to where you can purchase these polishes. I will also have links to the Orly social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolosnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos, as well as provide a written review. I'll also have my Orly playlist down in the description box as well, because I always forget to mention that I have playlists for, for brands. I, I always forget that. Timestamps are in the description box as well. Let's get into this video. First up, we have Embrace the Danger. Orly describes this one as a fiery coral red shimmer. Embrace the Danger had a really fantastic formula. I was pleasantly surprised at how opaque it was in one coat. However, since this is a more pearlescent shimmer, you do get some brush strokes with this polish. If that kind of thing bothers you, you're either gonna wanna try to make your brush strokes as straight as possible or sponge this one on so you don't see any brush strokes at all. I don't like pearlescent finishes. I especially don't like orangey reds. This is a pearlescent orangey red. It's just, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, if you like pearlescent finishes, if you like more orangey reds, this will definitely be right in your wheelhouse. For me personally, it's not for me. I swatched it in two coats plus glossy top coat. Similar color to this in my collection that I could think of was Essays You Wish from their Valentine's Day collection from this year. Embrace Danger is a lot more orangey than you wish. They are both orangey, corally, reddish kind of shades, but they aren't dupes. And now we have Follow the Map, which Orly describes as a coral pink shimmer. Again, we have a really great formula, surprisingly opaque on that first coat, but not quite a one coater. I still hate this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like pearlescent finishes. And in these colors, like I'm just like, I want to scream, I'm, I'm just not a fan. But like the polishes themselves are fantastic. It's just like, I just don't personally like them for me. As is typical with this finish, you do get quite a few, well, you get a lot of brush strokes on your nail when the polish is fully dried. This one does dry down fairly glossy on its own, but I did use top coat for my swatches. And now we have On A Whim, which Orly describes as a citrus lime cream. On A Whim was one of the colors that I was most excited for. Me personally, I would not describe this as like a citrusy lime. It's leaning in that prugly kind of color category and I freaking love it. My husband refers to this kind of shade as calf scour green. I do not recommend Googling that. If you don't know what calf scour is, don't look it up. I warned you, don't tell me that you looked it up and regret it. Formula and application for this one were all pretty good. Off leveling was nice, but the polish was a little bit on the thicker side. It also seemed to dry down a little bit sheer than it applied. It is likely gonna be a two to three coater depending on your application and potentially your nail length. I love this color so much. Also need top coat for a glossy finish with this one and I did not personally experience any staining with it. So for comparisons, I wanted to pull out one of my favorite greens from China Glaze called Budding Romance. This is a lot lighter than Budding Romance is. I also pulled out Go Figures from Sally Hansen. This is one of their newer releases, which I'll have a review on soon. They are not dupes, but they are super, super, super similar. You probably don't need both. And now we have Close Call, which Orly describes as a teal shimmer. I actually wanted to hate this polish, but like the color of it is really nice, but I still can't get past my general dislike for pearlescent finishes to truly like this one, but it's a really pretty color. While I didn't personally experience any issues with application when I was doing my full hand swatches, I did find when I was doing my live swatches, 
that this one does not like to be overworked. I noticed that I was creating bald spots uh, when I was doing the live swatch just now, so that's just something to keep in mind. Even with that one issue, this was still like a thousand times better than the OPI Pro Lessons from their summer collection, just FYI. Next up, we have Lost Treasure, which Orly describes as a medium blue shimmer. Formula on this one is pretty good. It is a little bit more sheer than some of the other pearlescents in this collection, but overall I found application very easy. Self-leveling was nice. I don't know why my camera was just going in and out of focus just now. Not really a fan of this one. Again, we get a lot of brush strokes through the shimmer, just like all the other pearlescents. I really wish that this was a more vibrant color. Like I feel like the medium blue is a little bit dusty for a summer release and I'm kind of disappointed that it's not brighter. I feel like I could say that for a lot of the polishes in the release that I just wish they were brighter. And since we're on the subject of like icy blues, I wanted to compare this one to Orly's Ascension. I think this was like their, their most recent winter release. They're not dupes. I probably could have gone in for another coat to really show the color difference, but like you can see they're not the same color. I wanted to end on a positive note, so we're going to end with one of my favorite colors from this release. This one is called Off the Grid. Orly describes it as a cobalt blue cream. I freaking love this color. It is bright. It is a cobalt blue. I love colors like this. I will never get tired of them. I will continue buying them because they are all so beautiful. Had fantastic formula, fantastic application, buttery smooth. Coverage was pretty okay in one coat, but not anywhere close to being a one coater. I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. It does dry down fairly flat, so you will really want Top Coat to give this a nice glossy finish. And I know people are saying, Nicole, 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 how does this compare to Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue? Sadly, I don't own that one. I do own the Moonshine Manny um, in the Pacific, which is a dupe for that polish. In my opinion, this is not an exact dupe for Pacific Blue. However, the very slight difference is probably so negligible that we could say it is a dupe, but it does seem that Off The Grid is just, has a tiny bit more white in it than in the Pacific. Side note, if anyone has an original bottle of Pacific Blue and would like to sell it to me, you know, let a girl know. I have decided that I want to finally get a bottle of that one since I love bright cobalt blue so much. So thanks. Okie dokie. So final thoughts. I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed. disappointed when I saw the colors for this collection. I'm not going to lie. Let me go back and find the email to verify because maybe I'm just crazy and I didn't realize it. Ten seconds later. So just to address the elephant in the room, I just went back to look at the email Orly sent me a couple of months ago about their breathable summer collection as well as this summer collection. For the breathable line, we had six bright bold pastel neons. And then, because I'm a dummy, they didn't actually say that their summer collection was going to be bright. So, like, I disappointed myself, and I, I feel like I might disappoint a couple of you all, too, because I was just like, it's going to be bright! But no, they said the breathable was going to be bright. They didn't say nothing about bright about the summer collection. They just said it was going to be six creams and shimmers. Opening this collection will feel like you've lo found lost treasure. So that's on me. I... <laughs> Sorry, I disappointed myself and that sucks and I'm sorry. Yeah, they, they came through and they said that it was going to be six creams and shimmers and that's what we got. However, I don't like pearlescent finishes and I feel like Orly's done a lot of pearlescent finishes this year. I will say the formulas on these were all fantastic. So like at least they had that going for them. When I went to swatch these and I and the pearlescent, like I was still feeling a little reclumped <laughs> from the OPI uh, summer collection because the, the pearlescents in those were just trash. The whole collection was just terrible to be honest. So yeah, I, I'm glad that these all had really, 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 really good formulas. But at the same time, I do not like the pearlescent finish and I really wish that we could move past that. Unpopular opinion, perhaps. As far as the color story goes, I do wish that we had more of a bright, fun, summery, neon, just more like that. I say this all year round, how I don't particularly mind when brands do a collection that's not like typical color stories. The only collections that I want a typical color story for are Halloween and summer. That's it, that's all I ask for. Oh, and Valentine's Day. Those are the three instances in the year when all I ask is like stick to what I, stick to what we deserve. <laughs> 
for these releases. Like Halloween, I want dark, I want glitter, I want weirdness for Halloween. I want lots of pink, I want lots of gold for Valentine's Day. For summer, I want colors that when I look at my nails, like I scream because like there's pain in my eyeballs because the polishes are so bright. Fire! That's what I want for summer. And I'm kind of annoyed that this year, no one has given me that. Well, except for Starly. Starly has done that. I'll have a review up coming soon. But other than Starly, I don't feel like anyone has given me bright neon colors that make my eyeballs hurt when I look at them. And I don't like that. <laughs> I'm mad, damn it, I'm mad. But yeah, overall, it wasn't a bad collection, just the color story was not for me. I will say though, I really did love On A Whim. On A Whim was such a fun color. It is a little prugly for summer, but I'm never gonna say no to a prugly polish. Like that's just not what we do here. We we appreciate the pruglies and I definitely appreciated On A Whim. My other top pick is going to be Off The Grid. It is bright, It that that's what I want from a summer collection. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. I will say between the China Glaze collection, the Essie Summer collection, and now the Orly collection, I feel like the blues we've gotten in those three collections were definitely the shades of blue that I personally like to see in a summer collection. But other than On A Whim and Off The Grid, I don't really care for any of the colors in this release. Like this, this was not it for me, unfortunately. And also I did not get a ColourPass box for this release, by the way. My subscription was up for ColourPass. I'm not sure what the ColourPass exclusives are. If anyone knows what the ColourPass exclusive items are for this round, please let me know because I'd really like to know because I, I, I don't know yet. So yeah, I would love to know what everyone else thought of this release. Like, are you planning on picking it? Have you already picked it up? Are you a Color Pass member? Like, let me know. I always love hearing everyone's thoughts and opinions on these, but I do, I have a very strong feeling that many of you are also going to be like me and being like, I don't like pearlescent finishes. I wish they would just stop because that's where I'm at now. And like, I fully recognize that while I don't like a finish, it doesn't mean someone else can't like that finish. Obviously somebody likes these because all the brand, all the mainstream brands keep making them. So clearly they are popular to some degree. Do you boo boo. But like, I don't like them. Anywho, so I love knowing everyone else saw this release. Like I think I said that already, but it's fine. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions. Uh, before we end today's video, I want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, besties. I love you guys. Just thank you so much. Like. You guys really are like solid MVPs. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me, like for real. Your names are all on the screen right now. If you'd like to join my channel memberships, I have a link for that down in the description box. But as always, no pressure from me. Just, you know, like the video, comment, share, let your other friends who like nail polish know that like I'm here. I'm doing the thing. I'd really, really appreciate it. Just thank you all so much. I just love and just really appreciate all the support just everyone gives. Like, I feel like I don't say that enough. Like, I really, truly do appreciate all of the support you guys have given me. I was real scared this, earlier this year when I wanted to start branching out to doing some more non-indie nail polish brands on this channel. I'm really glad that it is working out well for me. I'm even more glad that you all are also really liking it a lot. And as always, let me know what brands that you all would like me to review on this channel that I have not already, specifically non-indie brands. I did recently purchase some Morgan, the Morgan Taylor Little Mermaid collection. I've got a Sally Hansen collection that I'm gonna be starting on this weekend. I'm so sorry, this after was like ridiculously long. I'm gonna have to edit so much out because I just like can't stop talking apparently. All right, so just thank you all very much for watching today's video. Just have a fantastic weekend. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow during the live stream and just have a good one. Bye.